There is such a thing as stupid Christians. A stupid Christian is one that, although they claim to be a Christian and claim to believe in the resurrection from the dead of Christ and the teachings of Christ, while they claim these things, they ignore just about every teaching he has ever uttered out of his mouth. They ignore, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death, and instead believe, oh, just die when I die. They ignore his teachings about do not sin. He came to call sinners to repentance, not the righteous. However, do you think that he intended you to still be sinning? Do you think if he came to call you away from sin, do you think when you became a Christian that you should still be sinning? Do you think that by saying, oh, I'm not perfect, oh, I'm a back, uh, that, that by saying that you still sin and that you're not perfect, that you're achieving something, do you think that that's righteousness coming out of your stupid tongue? No, that's foolishness, that's a carnal way. You thinking that by proclaiming your goodness as, oh, well, I'm not proud because I'm proud to be a sinner and to not be perfect. You have taken not being perfect and taken being a sinner as a badge of honor, therefore making you prideful to have it, making it to where instead of looking to his word that says, don't sin, you cannot, you don't have to sin if you do this. Instead of looking at that, you look at, oh, well, I'm going to wear this badge of honor. That's stupidity. That's not righteousness. That's stupidity. That's being like the devil. That's retardation. Like the devil's retardation. Thinking he can take on God. And you, you stupid Christians, thinking you can... Be a sinner and be righteous at the same time. I can sin, but I can't be righteous while I'm sinning. I can sin and then I can be righteous after I've sinned, but that's after the cycle of forgiveness. But to be a repentant Christian means that you don't sin anymore. There's no repentance where you, you keep sinning. That's not repentance. That's just continuing in stupidity. Because to sin at all is stupid. If you want wholeness of life, if you want the desires of your heart met, that's when you don't sin. Because, I mean, there's this idea that man is too corrupt to have good desires. Well, that's a lie. That's stupidity. When man is not sinning, all of his desires are the, are the same as God's. Our will is in alignment with God's will. So why then would we not have wealth? This idea that poverty is humility is stupid. You're not getting anywhere that with that. You're not helping anybody. Do you think God would rather have all Christians be poor and relying on the world, not God, for support? Or would he rather us all be wealthy, helping people. And because of our wealth, people seeing those Christians know something. I want to know what those Christians know. Do you realize how wealth speaks to people, how wealth speaks to the world? Because they don't understand how you got it. You got it from God. And because you got it from God, they're going to want to inquire about that and find out I want to be around him. I want to know what he knows. And when what you know is that all power comes by God, that the power to get wealth comes by God, then you teach that. But if you're poor, who wants to hear you? You think some vow of poverty makes you righteous? You're a fool. You're being a stupid Christian. You're not being wise. You're not being obedient to God by taking a vow of poverty. You're not being obedient to God by being a sinner. You're just being an idiot. 